The Slinger Anti-Drone System, developed by Electro Optic Systems, EOS in Simonston, Australia, represents a significant advancement in cost-effective counter-unmanned aerial system technology. Introduced in May 2023, this lightweight, hard-kill weapon system is designed to neutralize small drones efficiently, drawing inspiration from historical slingers who utilized precise, low-cost weaponry for long-range engagements. At its core, the Slinger comprises a remote-controlled weapon station based on the EOS R400 model, featuring a fully stabilized Bushmaster M230LF 30mm autocannon capable of on-the-move operation. This is complemented by a coaxial 7.62mm Mag-58 machine gun, an Echodyne Echo Guard 4D radar with detection ranges of 1 to 1.4km for small drones and over 3.5km for vehicles, and a sensor suite with a day camera and thermal imager offering identification ranges of 12 kilometers and 13.7 kilometers, respectively. Weighing just 355 kilograms and standing 90 centimeters tall, the system is versatile enough to be mounted on various platforms, from pickup trucks like the 2017 GMC Denali 2500 HD to armored personnel carriers such as the M113 or Bushmaster. With a unit cost below $1.55 million and an engagement cost ranging from $155 to $1,550, Slinger addresses the economic asymmetry of using exorbitantly priced missiles against inexpensive drones, a pressing concern in modern warfare exemplified by conflicts like Ukraine. The Slinger's operational capabilities are robust and adaptable. Its 30mm cannon, firing radio frequency proximity fused, high explosive fragmentation rounds at selectable rates, single shot, 100 or 200 rounds per minute, can engage drones beyond 800 meters with a maximum ammunition load of 150 rounds. The system's elevation range of plus 7 degrees to minus 10 degrees and stabilization technology ensure precision with a deviation of less than 1 milliradian, even during mobile operations. The operator, stationed inside the vehicle, uses a joystick to control the turret, which autonomously tracks targets via its advanced radar and sensor suite, simplifying its use without requiring extensive technical expertise, as demonstrated by EOS engineer Charlotte Capper during testing. The secondary MAG-58 machine gun, with a firing rate of 650 to 1,000 rounds per minute and compatibility with various 7.62mm NATO rounds, adds versatility for engaging ground threats or smaller drones at closer ranges. Approximately 85% of Slinger's components are sourced from Australian suppliers, assembled in locations like Queen Bay and, and Canberra, leveraging EOS's space technology heritage. Capable of tracking objects as small as a 10 cent piece at 36,000 km to ensure accuracy against fast moving aerial targets. Slinger's production and procurement history underscores its growing international relevance. In August 2023, EOS secured an initial export order from Northrop Grumman for three systems, integrated with the M ACE platform followed by a landmark deal in September 2023 to supply Ukraine with 160 units as part of a U.S. military aid package valued at approximately $170 million. Of these, 110 are destined for M1113 APCs, while 50 will be mounted on Bushmaster or similar MRAP-class vehicles by Ukrainian firm Praktika, with an initial batch of 10 delivered by December 2023 and the remainder extending into 2024. Additionally, in January 2024, Germany's Deal Defense ordered an unspecified number of slingers for $15 million, integrating them onto lightweight 4x4 vehicles, with deliveries planned throughout 2024. While primarily export-focused, the Australian Defense Force has not widely adopted to slinger, though it has been demonstrated under an innovation hub contract with Acacia Systems, suggesting potential future domestic interest under programs like Land 156. Testing at Klondike Range Complex in New South Wales on September 7, 2023, showcased its ability to neutralize moving drones at 500 meters using both the cannon and machine gun, reinforcing its operational readiness. In Ukraine, Slinger's deployment aligns with the urgent need to counter prolific drone threats, 
such as Russia's Iranian-supplied Shahed-136 drones, which cost $20,000 to $31,000 each, compared to missiles priced in the hundreds of thousands or millions. Ukraine's ambassador to Australia, Vasil Myroshnichenko, praised its cost-effectiveness during demonstrations, noting its one-shot, one-kill potential against such targets. While specific operational details remain scarce due to security constraints, its intended role within Ukraine's mobile air defense units promises a layered defense alongside systems like Norway's Cortex Typhon. Beyond Ukraine, the deal defense contract signals European interest, with further orders likely pending battlefield feedback. Production, supported by over 100 Australian suppliers, has scaled to meet these demands, with EOS reporting no delays as of February 2025. To assess Slinger's standing, a comparison with similar systems in the Asia-Pacific region is instructive. South Korea's BIHO Hybrid, a twin 30mm gun and missile system mounted on a K200A1 chassis, offers a broader anti-air capability, engaging drones and aircraft up to 3 kilometers with a higher rate of fire, 1,200 rounds per minute combined, and integrated Shingung missiles. However, its complexity and cost, estimated at $10 to $15 million per unit, make it less economical for small drone threats, and its 2,500 kilograms weight restricts platform versatility compared to Slinger's 355 kilograms. Japan's Type 87 self-propelled anti-aircraft gun with twin 35mm Orlikon cannons excels against larger aerial targets at ranges up to 4 kilometers, but its 38-ton weight and dated radar limit its effectiveness against agile, low-cost drones alongside a higher operational cost. China's LD-35, a 35mm gun and missile hybrid on an 8x8 truck, boasts advanced radar and a 5 km range, yet its export restrictions and estimated $5 to $8 million price tag reduce its regional accessibility. In contrast, Slinger's lightweight design, low engagement cost, and focus on small UAS threats provide a niche advantage, though it lacks the multi-role capacity of these heavier systems. Within Australia, Slinger stands alongside EOS's developmental Titanus, a 34-kilowatt laser system targeting drones beyond 1,500 meters, and the ADF's Fractal 2, a portable laser acquired in 2024 for $4.9 million, capable of defeating over 50 drones per charge. Titanus offers greater range and energy efficiency but remains in testing, while Fractal 2's directed energy approach avoids ammunition costs, though its prototype status limits immediate deployment. Drone Shield's Drone Gun Mech 3, a soft-kill RF jammer, complements Slinger with non-kinetic disruption at 1 km, but lacks hard-kill capability. Slinger's gun-based solution bridges these technologies, offering immediate, tangible drone destruction at a fraction of missile-based costs. Though its kinetic focus may be less adaptable to electronic warfare trends compared to lasers or jammers. Overall, Slinger emerges as a standout in the region for its cost-effectiveness, portability, and precision against small drones, addressing a critical gap in modern air defense. Its export success, 160 units to Ukraine, additional sales to Germany, underscores its global appeal, outpacing regional peers in economic viability despite lacking the multi-role scope of systems like BIHO Hybrid or LD35. For Australia, it bolsters industrial capability and export potential, though ADF adoption lags, possibly awaiting proven battlefield results. In a region with escalating drone proliferation, Slinger's lightweight, hard-kill approach positions it as a pragmatic countermeasure, balancing affordability and lethality where heavier, costlier systems falter. As conflicts evolve and feedback from Ukraine emerges, its role in shaping regional CUS strategies will likely solidify, marking it as a pivotal innovation from Australia's defense sector.